Okay, today I have a, an idea in mind for a kind of my version of a Halloween scene. I usually don't do things with, uh, I don't know, although I love the iconography, but uh, things like graveyards and things like that. Um, but I want to do a scene that uh, kind of is in the spirit of Halloween, but it's more just kind of the atmosphere of the um, the overall setting, but then I'll try to throw in a little twist at the end. I have an idea for this little child walking right here. I'm going to leave the, uh, the, uh, the adult out of it in this case, but um, I'll uh, put a little... I have an idea if you've seen that movie, It. I'm going to put a little balloon in that guy's hand there.
Anyway, so it's my little, uh, I don't know, first scene for a holiday season. Um, it's kind of unconventional a little bit, but I don't know. It's kind of in the spirit of like a, like it, you know, that horror movie or whatever. Um, I saw this balloon go in. I was like, oh, I, I can do that to a scene or something like that. And the, this vision of a road came to mind. But anyways, so you can do these types of things like this. You can kind of make things seasonal and whatnot um, just by changing kind of the spirit of um, kind of the atmosphere and scene. So this to me is like the Halloween spirit without going into anything too ghoulish or whatnot. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit more Twilight Zone than... Uh, you know, Halloween, you know, or something like that. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's kind of in that same spirit. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the scene. I certainly enjoyed stamping it out. And, I don't know, I haven't really done something like that before with that little balloon before. So it was kind of new for me. And, uh, I don't know, working on these larger format scenes, too, is still relatively new for me. I've done them before in the past, but I've only done a handful over the last you know, 20, 30 years. Um, so I'm just kind of starting to get into it a little bit more and more, but I'm starting to see more of the possibilities of kind of the larger format here, even though this scene can be stamped in, you know, a quarter page card. I mean, this would make a really great scene right here, you know. A quarter page is like about that big, right? You know, four and a quarter by five and a half. But, you know, this extra space in here just allows for additional um, kind of interpretations and kind of an, an increase in whatever statement you're trying to make. So if it's going to be some kind of like a ominous, spooky atmosphere, then you can just make it much bigger doing that. And it's doing the same exact techniques. You just have to apply a little, you know, or I'll, I don't know, I guess it's four times more ink or whatnot. But once you kind of get it flowing, the inkers really came in handy, you know, to kind of expedite the, uh, the process a little bit and to uh, get the... Uh, Gosh, I can't get that glare out of here. Um, you know, kind of get, to get that foundation made. And remember, after all this time in this video, I did go in and I inked in a certain color, stamped over it, um, or I stamped the things out, inked in a certain color, got darker, but it was kind of drying on me really, you know, too fast. So you just go back in with those lighter tones again and just reapply it over the top. And then go back to your darker tones and just kind of reapply them in there and they'll just spread around it and uh, blend so much easier for you. As a result of having kind of that pulp um, moist and uh, um, sealed off, I guess you can say. It's not really sealing it off the pulp of the page, it's just kind of wetter, so it just kind of uh, it becomes a much more surface-oriented exercise of spreading ink sat as opposed to kind of fighting it because it's grabbing, you know, your applicator. So use more ink than you think you'll need, and you'll be set. Even I didn't apply enough on my first go-round, so I just used so much more of that uh, re-inker fluid and that set things up nicely. So, okay. Questions, drop us down in the comment section. If you like this video, I hope you like, uh, share, and subscribe. And um, again, if you have any questions on media or whatnot, check the information section of the website or just drop me a note in the comment section below.